Our next guest tonight is Robertson Elka Feldman, who is the co-director of Newtown Synagogue and Young Adult Chabad Sydney. She's also a very busy mother. Elka, welcome. Tonight, please can I ask you what positive parenting is following on from our last guest and how it's based on the teachings of the Rambam. Hi, it's a pleasure to be here tonight. And um, there's a question I think that everyone uh, asks themselves as a parent, which is how do we raise healthy children? We want them to be healthy in mind, in body, in spirit, socially, emotionally, academically. And how do we educate them to be able to make the right choices in all of those areas. And it's really interesting because the Rambam has a very specific advice for us. I'm going to read straight from the Rambam over here. The Rambam says the father should cajole his son to learn with the things that children desire so that he will go happily to study. When he is young, the father should give him nuts and honey and dates. When he grows older and rejects these small gifts, the father should give him fine clothes. And when he grows yet older and rejects these, the father should give him <coughs> um, gifts of money. Afterwards, when he grows still older, the father should say, study Torah and you will become a leader and be called rabbi. And afterwards, he should say, with Torah, you will merit paradise. And when he becomes wise, his father should train him to learn Torah for its own sake. So what's this teaching us? Well. <laughs> Let's first look at what it's not saying. It's not saying, let's punish our children, let's hit our children, let's ground them. It's not saying that punishment is the formula to apply to educate our children. We can't beat them into submission. The Rambam is saying, know your kids, know what gets them excited, know what makes them tick, and use that to inspire them and excite them around doing the right thing. It's all, around, it's all about positive association. It's an enjoyable experience. It's fun. They come to shul and there's a lolly man. They learn Torah and there's a prize. As they get older, they get money. It's something they look forward to because of the positive association. But who wants spoiled kids, right? They're only gonna do the right thing if there's a prize. Why would you wanna, get, why would you wanna ed educate them to only do the right thing if there's a reward? So you could be worried that you're going to give rewards and you're going to spoil them into doing the right thing for the wrong reasons. But the Rambam says, don't worry. It's okay to give them rewards. They aren't going to become selfish children because ultimately they will end up doing it for the right reason. Why is that? The person who works at the supermarket is not going to come to the supermarket to work if they don't get paid. So how can the Rambam say that if we reward our children, they're not going to expect a, a reward every time and they're not going to do it if the reward isn't coming? So the Rambam tells us that we give rewards as many as we need to, to get them to do the right thing. Because when you give a reward, it awakens something inside them, the part of them, their soul, their neshama, that actually wants to do the right thing all along. In the Gemara, it tells us, which means that a person should do the right things even if they aren't doing it for altruistic reasons initially, because within each of us is the desire to do the right thing. And the positive association with doing the right thing will ultimately activate the internal desire and holy neshama to do the right thing for the right reason. So don't worry that by giving incentives, your children will become like the worker who only works for money. Every, every person has a godly soul, which was created in the image of God, a godly soul, which is a part of Hashem, and which intrinsically wants to do the right thing for the right reason. All the prize does is turn on the ignition for them so that their whole life, they'll want to do the right thing. And so let us lavish our children with wonderful experiences associated with doing the right thing so that they will be able 
to do the right thing for the right reasons. Thank you so much, Roberts and Feldman. It's so amazing to see, again, how the Rambam's teachings are still so relevant for parents throughout each age in, of their children's development. And thank you again for your advice and also Roberts and Catherine's advice. Both are really bring that point home of positive reinforcement for parents.